Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of This is the Police. Uh, this is part 13. And uh, <laughs> amazingly, uh, this is part 14, I tell a lie. Uh, amazingly, in part 13, which is a previous episode, um, I had my mic on mute for quite a considerable amount of time. <laughs> but I got some very good views, feedback, and everyone had a good laugh about that. So... Um, yeah, if my mic's still, it's definitely not muted this time. <laughs> uh, but before we go on, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, and a shout out to all those guys who've been supporting me. Uh, I'm now officially over 100 YouTube subscribers. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support, all the, the game of love you guys have shown me over the, uh, the few months and the weeks. Uh, so big big thank you to you guys uh special thanks to john boy and kuyoyo for giving me shout outs on their channel uh I was quite surprised because <laughs> i wasn't expecting it but definitely uh very very pleased and it did help me a lot so thanks guys uh so without further ado um let's do the do <laughs> let's see what we have on uh day 30 I think it runs to something like uh, day 150, so we got a while yet, but we're, we're finally starting to uh, make some headway into it. Biannual report: more deaths than births in Freiburg. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Debbie's cafe charged with health and safety violations. Red cat rescues girl from rape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's the importance of it being a red cat? Uh, no. <coughs> There's Jack with his car again. <laughs> oh, oh god, my cats ate some cream. Some cream past its sell by date. Had diarrhea. Better now, but like spend a day. Hell no. Uh, um, no. This is shift B, yes. Shift A is in a very, very terrible state right now, guys. Um, if you uh, remember from the previous video, I think we ended up having something like f only four officers on duty. Uh, plus, the city hall cut our budget again, which I wasn't best pleased. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they're always cutting our budget. What can I say? Yeah, let's have B major. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. City Hall is saying that we can request something. <clears throat> we will request a job slot. Most times they don't grant our request anyway, so I'm, I'm not getting my hopes up. <clears throat> and so it begins. There's a fight. Uh... Running towards the amusement park. Uh huh. Let's see if he can just deal with it. Go on, Quintana. Sort it out. Hopefully, we won't need. Um, sometimes they'll come back and say, oh, it's more serious than we thought, boss. Can we have some reinforcements? Eh, uh, no. Please tell me you sorted it. Are you joking? That's because he's not past 150 reputation, that's why. Uh, in this game, once you get to 150 or above, you're seen as being more reliable. So, uh, <laughs> uh, in this case, he was at 140, so I, you know, I thought he could handle it. Uh, I'm not very happy about that, actually. Send a paddy wagon, because you can send it multiple times. And uh, let's go with... Percy, go and earn some points. Jesus. Uh, if you guys remember, he was hired only because uh, his uncle, his dad, somebody who had lots of money and was related to him, um, said that they would f fund us for two offices if we accepted uh, one of his as a third. My, 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 oh my. I wish I didn't accept that because... Um, now we can't fire him, unless he gets shot. 
That's the only way. <laughs> hmm. Oh, another call out. It's a robbery, uh, grab expensive bag and bo bolted. She immediately called the police. Isn't the mall safe anymore? That man must still be in the building. Please hurry! Help somebody! Okay, Kochi, Quint Quintana, you better earn yourself some points now, son. I'm not very happy with your performance. There we go. <clears throat> very good. Oh, Percy's on 70. We'll get in there. So they're coming back, so we'll have backup if we need it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Uh, somebody stop that thief. That means a civilian might get hurt. Pulled a knife. You see, this is why I didn't tell a civilian to help. Okay. Uh, I'll use pepper spray. That will stop him. That's a good call. Because sometimes, even if you draw a weapon, they if, if they have a death wish, they'll still come at you. Very good. <clears throat> we'll wait for these guys to come back and see if we can send Quintana again. I want to. I want to get him up to 150 at least. <clears throat> it's a counterfeiting rink. It's just as stormy in there as it is out here. <laughs> it's raining quite a lot actually. Uh, it's been like that for the past few days. Um, a woman put up a tent in the park. Why would come buy a new highly profitable currency? Mm. This lady smells like bad news. I think three officers should suffice. We don't. We don't need to send any more. And coach is more than qualified, so she, she'll she'll keep him in line. Ain't that right, coachy? You better. If they lose points, I won't be pissed. Okay, they need backup. They need backup. Okay, let's send. Uh, oh, screw it. Let's send everybody we have. <clears throat> it's a quick trip, so worst case scenario, we 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 could ignore this one. But overall, uh, shift B actually performs a lot better. See. There we go. There we go, guys. We found money. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to ask the Mafia to sell this one. Make us some cash. <clears throat> I think we'll, we'll, we'll just be okay for this. Here we go. Theft. Frank Conroy's wallets were stolen at the bus stop. He quickly noticed the loss and he's hunting for pickpocket with his friends. The group is blaming everyone in sight and it's escalating. Well, well, well. What do we say about our vigilantes? Don't take the law into your own hands, boy. Let's send Percy again. He needs to get in some points. Disorderly conduct. Okay, no, so a very large dog. Dog was on a leash and wearing its muzzle, but it was growling and jumping on other patients. <laughs> Duty nurse warned the man that it was against hospital policy. The man snarled and refused to listen. Well, Flores, it's time for you to do some work. I know, I, I, you know, I have sent Yancy out. <clears throat> Corn monument. Give that a minute. Let's give that a minute. <coughs> We're gonna have to send everything we have. And it's eight o'clock, so we're not quite at the end yet. Ninety. Wow. Percy's getting there. Yes. Good job, officer. Good job, buddy. I'll just wait for them to get back and then we'll have to send everybody. <clears throat> Young DJ up on exit store, right? Strange looking man with black and red robe. First 
Nox's energy drink. Merits of drinking human blood. What? We have a vampire on the scene, guys. Uh, became threatening and demanded for my protection from the forces of darkness. Oh, <laughs> this guy's. This guy is. Uh, he's deeply troubled. Severe bites. I think we need to prioritize. Let's send Yancy, and then we'll send everybody else on this on this call. <coughs> Come on, guys, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. SWAT, paddy wagon. Let's do it, guys. I think it's only round the. It's only round the. Corner, I think, isn't it? it? Should be around here somewhere. Is it around here? Oh, it's there. <coughs> oh, good job, good job, Yancy. That's it. He caught that. He caught that sucker. No new frames found. You see, so um, if you guys remember the previous. Now what's this? This is a struggle. No, that's that's the boy, isn't it? Um, I had a lot of trouble trying to s figure out. That's the boy holding the the thing. See, so I don't think it's the boy. If there aren't any new frames, I don't think it's the boy. I think it's the um. It's the brother, but I've had real difficulty solving this case. <clears throat> I've tried it that way. <clears throat> Doesn't work. I've tried it every which way. And it doesn't work. See, because if I think of it logically... <clears throat> Someone banged on the door, and my mom told me to hide under the bed. So it couldn't have been this, then, I assume. <sighs> Someone banged on the door. So that means the boy couldn't have answered it. That's what I think, but... Um... See, I, I I don't know. <clears throat> and I've got I've got more detectives on the case as well. Uh huh. Meat tenter was found next to the woman's body, right? So. So according to. The, the, the this is the boy. This is the medical examiner. She was struck by a blunt object, which ties in with that. The killer was standing behind the victim. Death was immediate. Uh, <clears throat> so now the brother comes begging for money. Then she was yelling at her son. Uh huh. She's yelling at her son. Paramedics say he was just playing games. He didn't turn. You see, so it might be that the sun has something to do with it. Maybe, maybe he went to. Okay, so let's assume he answers the door. Let's assume we don't believe the sun. He answers the door, right? So he's not hiding under the bed. So that means he couldn't have done it, right? Guys, have I done this? I've just got to now figure out. No, 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 no. He answers the door. He then walks in. Now, does he hide? Is this him hiding it after? No, this can't be him hiding. It would be covered in blood. So it was left there. So this must be him picking it up. 
so because this picture doesn't make sense because the the examiner says she it, it, she was hit from behind so it can't be this frame because he's in front of her and she's facing him so I think this must be part of the Uh, let's see. This can't be part of the frame because in every other situation is he is he struggling he's struggling with her there, right? Unless this is because I've tried this. He can't he's gotta walk he's gotta open the door, he's gotta walk in tell the sister look guys I got no money I'm broke and she's like uh, listen I can't help you with it and then he's like oh but look look at my bills piling up and he's like well listen I'm gonna have to whip you over the head with this <laughs> this has to be after all this unless she tries to hit him and then he takes it off her. See, that's the thing. I don't understand. Uh, okay, we will come back to this. This is the... Um, uh, let's see. Fiona Kalis. Let us, uh, let us Officer, proceed. Like uh, this is the mass riot. Uh, the fight is in full swing and some of the combatants are carrying weapons. Oh dear. Now if you shoot in the air it's only going to get him crazier. It's around the park. Oh yeah, good job guys. Percy is now 100, he's getting there. And Quintana is now over 150, so hopefully I can send him out on his own. And not be worried about him screwing up. <laughs> uh, and we were fortunate there because it was just at the right time. In that we didn't need to call for any other officers. Perfect. And that ends day 30. So far, good job. Good day. Um, but Yancey's tired. Quintana's tired. I might order him to work on shift day. It looks like everyone's back on Oh we actually can I can I cancel that request? No. Okay. End the day. According to Mrs. Markham, I was supposed to spend all day thinking up the right words. But to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at 3 o'clock in the morning, and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her, and something tells me she's no more ready for this meeting than I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. And if they don't come at all, then so be it. I've heard said, when you're knocked out by a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. Well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. Did we just get knocked out? Jesus! Wild corruptionist. Uh, guys, <laughs> this, is <coughs> this is new to me.
What? <laughs> okay, I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I'm guessing I was supposed to shoot the guy, I think. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our asses. I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we want to... Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. The doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He... Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freeburg's police chief, and it's gonna stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. You run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. Oh, and assemble a press conference. Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account- Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh, coming up on five years now. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but... Never, because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard. Garbage pit. You know, for old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll schedule the press conference for tomorrow, all right, Jack? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. <laughs> That's the way to tell him. God damn! <laughs> he got told. He got told. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I got a new car! Finally! Come on! <laughs> yes! Wow. Well, thank God for that. I, I don't know what I've done to deserve all this. I went shopping. Okay. Hairstyle. Okay. One who will not suffer the idiots who stand his way. You are independent and self-confident. Yes! Wow, it's looking good. Come on, Jack! It's a new us, guys. 40 is the new, uh, is the new 20. <laughs> uh, well, good morning, madam. Thank you. I know exactly what I want. Yeah. These glasses make it clear that a lot depends on decisions you make. Can we deselect and see what the other ones say or do they say the same? Ok. 
Okay. Robert Crane sunglasses. Excellent. <laughs> no, that would be too much. I <laughs> threw them away. We got a brand new ride. Papa's got a brand new ride, guys. There he comes. Wow, Jack, what's with the outfit? You planning on... The pit in the backyard, Martin. Always remember about the pit in the backyard. Yeah, Martin, remember Don't that. Don't talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. He wanted to... Jack! I hardly recognize you. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? We should see each other more often. How long has it been? Last time I saw you, I fired you, Kevin. Ha! <laughs> you mean the day I resigned in protest? over the corruption and lawlessness at your police department, right? Yeah, repeat that shit often enough, someday you might start believing it. You know, Jack, I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. My new construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with the mayor. <laughs> it's a dream come true. All my dreams have come true. Only one thing remains. To bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. <laughs> you being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. It's not often you see the past and the future Freeburg Police Chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have time to talk, Kevin. There's something we need to discuss. Jack, the reporters, they're waiting for you. Hmm. This mayor needs to be slapped with his bum chum friend there. My retirement plan somehow just got turned into a circus. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at swallowing swords and jumping through burning hoops. They all seem to like it. Here we go, guys. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's true, I have a new hairstyle, and, um... <laughs> I'm going for a new look. Yep, so I figured I'd look what... Yeah, that's right. I'm happy with that. Know the person who attacked you? Um, I just need time. And I'm gonna find a sucker. Do you believe Rogers will decide in your favor? It doesn't matter what he says. Guy's a scumbag. Uh, I don't know if that's going too quickly. But we've got a new look now. And uh, got a new rad. New attitude. Um, <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Do I rock the boat now? Or do I rock it later? I don't know if there's going to be another. Rogers will decide in your favor. After all, he is the mayor, but I don't know... Ah, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think what happened to you somehow affected you? We'll see. Why well, guess? Let's wait a bit and find out. You're most welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I told him. I told that damn mayor. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, go, go get some sleep. Yes, go. Crombie. 
Yes, go to sleep. Oh my god, I'm not gonna have any. No, stay there. I have one, two, three. Good thing I told. Did I tell? One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. But even she's quite tired. So we have only one detective on duty today, guys. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna... Try this. Back in business. Back in business! Sounds like the one. <laughs> Okay, here we are. We have five officers. This is gonna suck. It's like all criminals suddenly went savage. They're cornering officers one by one, beating them to death. Boys are refusing to ride up. Hmm? Wow. Take everything, man. I need that cash. I went shopping. <clears throat> well, we need a uh, an officer for shift A. I think we only have. I think we only have two ladies on shift A. Her, Asano and uh, the other late Cromi. I gave her off. Gave her the day off. So we have one, two, three. Or let's get another lady, give it a mix. Roberta. Yeah, let's go with Roberta. Unknown. Shift A. Okay, what do we, what do we have? Uh, vandalism. So they might not go out by themselves, according to this. <laughs> so that's what happens. There we go. Ooh, I can get one more. I can get one more, guys. Let's get Officer Jeffrey. There we go. Officer Jeffrey, do the trick. So also, I, I, I worked out on the last video that you can also click on this ranch here instead of having to go through all these things. Okay, why can't I select her? Is she... Is she doing something? Um, <clears throat> now he's working on that case. See, so I, I don't know. Um, gonna really bug me guys I don't know why I can't fix this I need to fix it if he came from behind then oh he's like listen I need help sis and she's like well I can't help you and then what happens I don't know why this is so difficult. I've gone through it the right way. Presses on the doorbell. He has to open the door. And this doesn't fit into the picture because why would he be hiding it and there is no other evidence of him actually using it? Doesn't doesn't make sense.
This ca this case is gonna be unsolvable. I've tried every possible combination there is to try. He walks and sits down. Is like, yeah. I mean, this this actually. If I put that there and put that like that, right? These are the only two that I can think are interchangeable. Um, if I do that, even then, I can't think of any reason why this should be in the frame. If you guys have any um, ideas, give me a shout in the comment section below. Uh, but I will hang on to it until I figure out what's going on here. Uh, this only got three frames, so it's not complete yet. So, so I'm trying to figure out why it, uh, she must be a lead. I think she's a lead, isn't she? She's a lead there. That's why. Hmm. Yep, yeah, she's a lead. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see if you're gonna go out by yourself. <laughs> It's funny to hear them. Like, no, I ain't going up by myself, boss. I am not doing it. Reckless endangerment. An identified woman says that the strange surgeon is operating without license. Oh my god, we got a got a strange uh, strange things going on. Let's investigate. Deputy, what can we do? Oh, 50k? Oh my god, no way! 50 grand for that! I mean, that would be nice, but nah. Uh, I'm not willing to spend 50k on that. Very good job, guys. Very good job. We're going to have a lot of tired offices for the next episode, guys. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Dig around inside a young man's ri Oh, my God. What a sick, twisted situation that is. Uh, yeah, we don't have any offices. We ain't got no offices. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boss. I might be able to send these two if they come back on time, but they're not going to make it on time. Nah. Okay. What was the false alarms? That was good. <laughs> oh, wow. That's what I call clutch. Saved by the bell. After a car accident left him in a coma for months, I know his case was hopeless, but it's still murder. The greatest sin of all. Continental someone was blocked off the entrance of the ward. Let's send Vandal and let's send Asano. Go on guys, you can handle this. You can handle this. It's amazing to think how hard it must be to actually run a police department. Um, because you're going to have to always keep an eye on staffing levels. Um, how many people are calling in sick. And also, you know, you can't plan for... Uh, you can't plan for anything, so... Assault with an offensive weapon. Say stop the heart. Oh my god. Ooh. We're gonna need everybody we can get. Let's see if these guys get back on time. We're gonna have to prioritize. I don't think they're gonna get back on time. Four, three, two. No, I'm gonna have to send what I've got gonna have to send what I've got this requires <clears throat> quick response 
I wonder if this side of the map is going to be coming into play soon. We'll have to see. What am I supposed to do about this? I don't have SWAT. I don't have nobody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they won't go. Sorry, chaps. There's not much I can do about this. Um. We've got a situation here. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah, we caught them red-handed. Good job, guys. Yeah. Oh wow! Again. Seriously. No new frames. You see. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna deal with this. I'm gonna deal with it. Good job, guys. I'm gonna deal with it. Probably my next video. Because it's uh, it's it's mind-boggling right now. I'm trying to figure it out. So we have a full complement of staff. We can probably. Oh, there you go. Oh, no detectives into the crime scene. Yeah. Well, could I? I, I had no detectives. It's damn shame. I'm going to have to solve that case fast because it's taken a lot of detectives to solve that. Um, shift. Okay. Ooh. Impressive recovery, Mr. Boyd. I'm still not happy about how soon you're back to work. Well, not happy as your doctor. As a resident of Freeburg, I'm immensely grateful for it. Really? <laughs> Just don't tell anyone, or they'll pull my license. Well, thank you again for coming to see me at night. Oh, well, whatever you need, Mr. Boyd. Any doctor in this town would come running any hour, day or night, you can believe me. You're not suffering from headaches. It says here that you are taking painkillers after a back injury. But the prescribed dose is enough to... A Dr. Krachinsky, you trust me? And, uh, sorry? Do you trust me? In what way, Mr. Boyd? You think I'm an honest and reasonable man, Doctor? You're joking, Mr. Boyd. Thanks to you, my wife finally agreed to buy a house here, and we've decided to have children. Thanks to you, I'm not afraid to visit my patients at night. I think you are the most honest and reasonable person in the city, Mr. Boyd. Great. You see, Dr. Krachinsky, uh, I'm an addict. Mr. Boyd, is, uh, is... Well, not a drug addict in the way you might imagine. I'm not some weak-willed junkie. Sometimes I stay clean so long that the tablets stay locked in the barn so long they go past the expiration date. But there are less pleasant stories. You know what? Let's... I once took a whole bottle right there in the barn, passed out in my own vomit. I almost choked. I fought the convulsions, somehow managed to break four ribs. For two weeks, my chest was so sore I wanted to die. But for those two weeks, I kept swallowing pills. Couldn't stop. If you want, I could... I once took a dose right before a party at home. My wife, Laura, had some old friends over from college. And I didn't take that many, maybe five or six pills, but it felt like I'd taken a few hundred. I passed out while I was carrying a tray of drinks. On the way down, I knocked over a set of Laura's scented candles. The house almost burned down. The repairs took a good chunk from our savings. Mr. Boyd, if you'll allow me, I just... Uh... As you can see, Doctor, I'm well aware of the seriousness of the situation and the possible consequences. But sometimes I need the pills. I don't use the word lightly. <clears throat> Sometimes I've got to work on cases with more energy than I've got. I can't do it without them. And I know you want me doing my job. So tomorrow I want you to come here and bring me some tablets. Lots of tablets. Ten bottles. No, no better fifteen. Yeah, fifteen bottles. The next three months are going to be extremely difficult, Doc. I would like to discuss your... Uh, You'll bring the pills, Doctor? Uh, yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes. 
Very good. Look, I don't want to trouble you any further. I bet your family doesn't like you running away with me at night. I bet they'd rather I was still in that coma. <laughs> I see what happened. So when we had that coma just before, we were at day 30, I think. And um, it's now skipped to day 60. Um, so we skipped out on 30 days, a whole month. Um, so actually, it might not take as long as I thought it would, because I'm pretty sure it has something like 150 days, um, or 157, I'm not too sure. So, um, gaining good progress. Um, I'm going to stop it here, guys, for today. I will uh, continue in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, how do we cope with the gradual but continued strain on staffing? I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully, um, seeing as we got a nice surprise with uh, an updated Jack Boyd, new clothes, new car, new everything. Uh, hopefully we'll get a new injection of staff or cash to get some staff. Um, but until then guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, keep subscribing, keep supporting me on my channel. Really does help me get my content out to uh, many more viewers. Um, and until next time guys, I will see you all on the next one.